Right at the center of our solar system, there's a ticking time bomb. When it blows up, life on Earth will be over forever. That ticking time bomb is our sun. And just like all of the other stars in the universe, it will not last forever. Eventually, it will turn into a red giant, and as it grows in size, it will swallow the planets Mercury and Venus. Meanwhile, on Earth, the oceans will be boiled away, the ice caps and all evidence of them obliterated, and the moisture from the atmosphere will be stripped. It is then very likely that the Earth will also be consumed by the Sun. But that will not happen for another 5 billion years, so it seems like we are safe for now then, right? Wrong. You are about to learn about some of the many things that could kill off the Earth between now and then. Earth gets hit by small asteroids frequently. However, every few million years, a massive asteroid comes along with the potential to wipe out all life on our planet. It happened in the past, 66 million years ago, when a 15 kilometer wide asteroid struck the Earth off the coast of Mexico. This event is widely recognized as the one that wiped out the dinosaurs. It could happen again, and this time, it could lead to the extinction of all humanity. Deep within the Earth lies a scorching, fiery core as hot as the Sun. However, this intense heat is gradually fading away. Over time, as the Earth's core cools and solidifies, the Earth's magnetic field will disappear. Without this protective shield, we will be exposed to dangerous space radiation that could overheat the planet, making it uninhabitable. The planet could also be exposed to waves of solar winds that might sweep away the oceans. With our atmosphere irreparably damaged, Earth could eventually resemble Mars, with much of its breathable air gone. Imagine if the Moon somehow broke free from its orbit and came hurtling towards the Earth. It would cause catastrophic earthquakes all around the globe. The Moon's gravity would stretch and heat our planet, leading to enormous volcanic eruptions. On top of that, massive waves would sweep away entire coastlines. These disasters would continue until the Moon reached a distance of around 11,500 miles above the Earth's surface. At this moment, known as the Roche Limit, the gravity of the Earth would be stronger than the gravity holding the Moon together, so it would begin to break apart these pieces of the Moon would scatter to form a vast ring system around our lifeless planet. These chunks would eventually rain down on the planet, starting with the smaller ones and ending with the biggest. It would be an extinction event like the world has never seen. Colossal explosions on the Sun's surface have the ability to generate massive solar flares. If an unprecedentedly large flare were to hit the Earth's atmosphere, it would immediately damage our satellites and electronics. About 12 hours later, the scorching plasma could trigger a severe geomagnetic storm on Earth. This would lead to a worldwide power outage, plunging human civilization into darkness. Our power grids would be destroyed, along with communication networks, GPS, and the internet. This event may not lead to a doomsday extinction scenario for humankind, but it's very possible it would knock us back into the Dark Ages. Magnetars are a type of neutron star with an extremely powerful magnetic field. They are the universe's mightiest spinning magnets, much, much denser than all other stars. Just one tablespoon of a magnetar weighs a staggering 100 million tons. If a magnetar was to arrive in our solar system, its immense gravity would cause havoc disrupting the orbits of the planets and causing changes to the solar wind, leading to widespread damage to the planets and their atmospheres. As if that wasn't enough, magnetars also experience starquakes. When these occur, huge gamma-ray flare emissions are released into space. If one of these flares got within 10 light-years of Earth, the powerful gamma rays could shred Earth's ozone layer and destroy the planet's surface, wiping out all life in the process. 
the prospect of aliens visiting Earth might seem like a dream come true, but it could potentially turn into a nightmare. If the visitors were intent on not coming in peace, things could get ugly fast. Seeing that they will have already traveled here from vast distances, we can presume that the visiting aliens would possess much more advanced weapons than our own. If they were intent on destroying us, they could potentially wipe out humanity with some type of mass destruction weaponry or even a form of biological weapon. Another option could be to eliminate our technology and along with it our ability to retaliate or resist by using some kind of electronic magnetic pulse. We can safely assume that it would not end well for us in a hostile alien encounter, but a friendly one could also spell disaster too. Even if the aliens came with peaceful intent, they could unintentionally harm us by exposing us to new pathogens to which we have no immunity. Now let's talk about black holes with two crucial points to remember. First, they're incredibly massive. Second, we don't want Earth to be caught anywhere near one as it would be truly disastrous. If a rogue black hole were to enter our solar system, we would be doomed as the gravitational forces could upset the careful balance of the Sun and our planets. This could send them crashing into each other or even slung away into space. If this black hole then began to swallow the Earth, its powerful gravity would actually stretch one side of our planet as it began to devour it in a process known as spaghettification. Next, our atmosphere would be vacuumed up and then huge chunks of the Earth would rip apart as it is sucked in. Eventually, we'd be squished into the black hole's core, becoming part of it. Nothing in the universe is as explosively violent as a gamma ray burst. These can occur when two highly magnetized objects, like black holes or neutron stars, collide and their magnetic fields join together. This action creates huge jets of particles and photons that stream out from the collision. If one was to hit Earth, it would be catastrophic. The burst would destroy a significant portion of our atmosphere, specifically the ozone layer. Then, photons streaming from the burst would cause chemical reactions leading to photochemical smog and acid rain. With the ozone layer gone, the Earth's surface would be exposed to lethal radiation that would lead to a terrifying mass extinction of most species of life on our planet. We hope you enjoyed this rundown of some doomsday events that could destroy the world. Which one of these scenarios do you think is the most likely? How do you think the Earth could end? Please let us know in the comments below. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching.